Good evening. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. Maryland tops Rutgers 68-60 tonight. A bit of a shocker. Fats Russell 23, Ayala 21. It was a great game for the guards. They shoot the three ball extremely well, and the defense was there. Rutgers looks tired is the one word I kept coming up with. Rutgers has a lot, a lot of trouble generating offense. Maryland has a more than a 10-point lead for the last 30 minutes of the game, right down until garbage time. Terps take it 68-60, move uh, into the first two-game Big Ten winning streak of the season. It's actually a beautiful thing to see when that three ball goes down. Here is a word from Rick Jacklich. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. And why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. As well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jack Litch Law Group the very best. Best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. All right, let's get down to the stats. Terps go 22 for 64 in field goal percentage. Sorry, Terps go 24 for 53. That was Rutgers 22 for 64. Terps shoot 45%, 12 of 25 beyond the arc. 48%, not bad. It seemed like Maryland was doing better. It actually, even though Maryland dominates the game, I expected to look up and see that Fats Russell had 30 points. He, he was that dominant. Then Ayala starts hitting those threes. And some of them weren't even great shots. The ball just went in the basket tonight. Huge change from the last time Maryland beat Rutgers. Terps only go to the free throw line 14 times, make eight of those. That's 57%. Maryland gets out rebounded 36 to 33. Offensive glass, Rutgers gets 11. Terps gets six. Rutgers gets 17 assists. Maryland gets 12. Maryland wins where it counts on the scoreboard. A bit of a strange game. I really, I'm not sure that's the Danny Manning formula that's going to win every night, which is take a bunch of threes at distance while you're trying to run the clock down, and they go in. I really liked what Maryland did earlier in the game where the defense turns into offense. They frustrate Rutgers. I think it was they went one of 16, did the Scarlet Knights. Look, Rutgers blows a big opportunity to make a positive impression. Uh, Jersey Mike's Arena, as it's now called, in Piscataway, Looked fairly full. The guys on TV mentioned several times the crowd was ready to explode, and I think you could see that. They had a nice student crowd in there. Rutgers gets off to a great start and then gets bulldozed after they had a small lead. I think they were up 6-4. to four. Maryland ends up with the lead. Maryland doesn't give the lead back. Maryland keeps that lead all night. To Maryland's credit, Rutgers had... No answer for what. how can you defend both Fats and Ayala. They sort of, they did a really good job of eliminating Scott, making him pretty much a point guard uh, for the night. Scott has the one basket, one free throw, ends up with three points. And with Maryland, you're just not sure who's going to light it up. But lately, you can count on somebody having a near career night. Fats was phenomenal. Ayala, even though he shot so well, you, you almost go, well, that's Eric. He can make those three-pointers. He can drive to the basket. As I've said, it sometimes to me it looks like a mini small forward with a great shot. Fats, they matched him up small. They matched him up big. They could not stop Fats Russell. Early in the game, Maryland gets Kadus Wahab going. Haven't seen that much. I think he scores the first six points for Maryland. Uh, Maryland didn't go back to him as much as I thought they would. Uh, we've talked about minutes. <clears throat> we've talked about minutes management on the post game show and on the air on the Young Turfs podcast and others. You've got two guys who really uh, put out tonight. I think you got 36 minutes for Ayala, 
37 minutes for Fats Russell. The rest of the gang didn't really play too much. Uh, you got some 17s, some high 20s, but you have two guys who stay on the court almost all night. And tonight it works. Maryland goes off as a three and a half point underdog. And I guess your line of the night overall goes to Eric Ayala. He said he had 21. He actually had 22 points. 22, eight boards, three assists. Pretty, pretty impressive stuff. Hey, before we wrap this up, here's a word from Viner Foregates. And before we go to that, if you're in the market for a VOIP phone system, it's one of those phone systems that runs over the internet that you can use in your office, at home, on the road, anywhere you are, your phone system is, check out Viner Foregates. Great partnership with Nextiva. Nextiva, the VOIP system, is ranked number one by U.S. News and World Report. If you need a new system for your communications, call Viner Foregates and Nextiva.